Hey, how is going guys? Today I'd like to continue my video series about using your smartphone as a webcam or just as a camera, photo camera, whatever and to stream it to your PC through wireless okay last time I checked a software called uh, DroidCam which is available on Android and also as a client on Linux okay today I'd like to show you another software which is called IP Webcam which is also available on Android and Linux but the Linux client it actually it's a bit a little bit outdated so I wasn't really able to install it by using the Arch user repository I'll maybe try again in a few days or whatever and then I will make a video so in this video I'll show you how to use it through the browser as the last time I did at the end of the the last video with DroidCam. Okay, let's go to the Android side. I'm screencasting here, my Android phone. Let's go to the Play Store and just look for uh, IP Web Camera, IP Webcam, just search for these terms. And then as you can see, there is a pro version and a free normal version, which I have to say it's already very rich and very features full of features so you can try it install it and open it as you can see the differences between um, droid cam here i mean they appear at the at the beginning of this initial page i mean droid cam it just connects you straight okay while here you have many options that you can modify and then at the end there is actually the start server so I won't touch the options, I will just start the server and then right now I'm starting the server and now I'm still on my still screencasting my phone. So here it's what I see on my phone, okay. And here I have some actions. Yeah, actually I have to use my phone, not the mouse. Like toggle LED, for example, as you can see. Pretty much the same as a uh, droid cam but in my opinion there are more options and also you can uh, select them through your smartphone something that you cannot do with uh, the standard edition of droid cam maybe you can do with the pro edition but I have no idea okay so I'll leave it here if I can okay now let's open another browser or actually let me just open here and then drag it out and let's go to the IP which is it actually shows shows here let me see if I can make the screen a little bit bigger Fuck. as you can see here is showing my IP and maybe some other information that I don't really want to share so let's just go away. I mean, it's too late. <laughs> so 8080. As you can see here, you have so many options uh, comparing to DroidCam. So, for example, you have video renderer, just browser, JavaScript, or whatever else. By the way, this is the video. The video is really fluid, as you can see here. Then you can also select the stream quality, exposure compensation, zoom, LED flashlight straight from your browser. There is an overlay, which is very interesting. Here you have the battery capacity percentage. Night vision, really not sure what it does. I have no idea. There is a front cam switch. Okay, if you need it. So you have front cam. It's actually my front can it's pretty nice quality I have to say and the other cam it's also great here stream quality you can turn it everything on to one percent that you have this sort of old school vibes let's say old school style super pixelated or just turn it 
at 100 it will be super slow but as you can see the quality it's really it's really nice also the zoom which works pretty good as you can see and you also have the audio which I'm going to turn it later later I'm going to go outside in the garden I'm going to show you how it works I mean that it works wirelessly with also the audio alright first before that I'm going to show you that actually you can add this to OBS it's not the best way to do it but it's possible okay so you can uh, you can launch OBS and then you want to add Windows capture and you want to yeah the window has to be IP webcam Mozilla Firefox by the way you don't have to minimize the window or to change the tab okay as you can see if you change the tab it's gonna recognize the other tab so it's, it's no big deal if there, there are some other uh, windows above it such as this case it's important that you don't minimize or that there are some other tabs okay let's return to OBS let's go to properties and then you can crop it which as I say it's not the best way but it works okay actually okay I have to say that this is correct left side also it's okay right side correct and the bottom it's nice okay that's it now you have your camera also on OBS as I say not the best way I mean if you have a device it's way better but it works also this way and as long as you don't you know scroll your page or uh, open another tab if I open another tab then I see the tab actually the new one but then you can also change the camera let's see if it can do this okay oh yeah that's why it's so slow 50% now it's a little bit faster I guess I guess not okay there it is perfect so as you can see here you can also change the the camera so rear front camera you still have it cropped as it should be in here then you can change it back and you have it correct in here all right at this point I'd like to show you the last thing which is the audio player I'm going to select uh, WAV Opus let's go for Opus or WAV maybe maybe and now and now okay it's a little bit there is a lag like a three seconds something like that but it works and right now I will turn off my o uh, microphone so the mix aux here I will turn off so my headphone microphone and I will use the desktop audio and I will just go outside let's see what happens Opus or Vav maybe and now okay it's a little bit there is a lag like a three seconds something like that but it works and right now I will turn off my o uh, microphone so the mix aux here I will turn off so my headphone microphone and I will use the desktop audio and I will Vav maybe okay
I have no idea what's I, going on. I think he is just recording something or stuff like that. So maybe everything that I spoke is going to replay again. But anyway, I will try to go outside and also speak a little bit and I will see what it happens. See you later. As you can see here, I will turn off my mic. I have no idea what's going on. I think he is just recording something or stuff like that. So maybe everything that I spoke is going to replay again. But anyway, I will try to go outside and also speak a little bit and I will see what it happens. See you later. As you can see here, I will turn off my mic. And I'm using my phone. Okay, I guess I'll start to speak now, to talk now, because it's going to be super lagged, like maybe half, half minute, something like that. So let me just toggle that. And let's go outside. As you can see, it works pretty nice. I'm still connected because the wireless should be enough. Yeah, I have no so much range, just one out of five. Maybe it's not the best, but I think it's streaming still. I can see some uh, some movements, let's say, from my numbers. So I have some data it's still streaming, and that's it. This is where I where I was. Uh, I mean, where my desk is, where I was before. Opinion. Actual USB cable that you can just here and there. You can plug or you can use many more devices as just one. One webcam, for example, you can use smartphones or you can mix webcam and smartphones. But everything wireless, which is, in my opinion, better, you know. Here I am back, too bad for the audio lag, as you can see there is huge input lag, maybe as I say 30 seconds or uh, maybe even a minute or even more. You can check here, Firefox or Opus Edu, use VLC, Met open network stream. Yeah, I'll try this, audio of... Okay. Let me try this before I close network stream. And I guess I have no idea if it's working or what. Test. I think it's not working. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, sure. 
I know what's wrong here. There is a normal V here and no W. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. All right, perfect. There is still a lag, like uh, five seconds, something like that. But I turn off my my microphone, my headphone microphone. I have to say that it's impossible to speak and listen because the lag, it's like, it's driving you crazy. So now I'm not listening to what I'm saying anymore. Am I using this as a mic? So if you use VLC to actually uh, let me see this. If you use VLC, it's better. Okay. The lag, it's like uh, maybe less, five seconds, something like that. So you can use some external uh, source. I mean, you can use the extern th this audio source with an external player, such as VLC uh, or whatever. And just use the audio through here. You can also go full screen. Good. Okay. That's it, I guess. As you can see, there are many options, many stuff to try out, to, to do. There is also a client that maybe I'll try to install. And that's it for now. For this video, I'll leave you with the browser section. Hopefully the client will be work, so I will also use it as a device. Okay, that's it guys. Bye bye.